Hello, everyone, and welcome to the adventures of Martinius, last name, who has had a lot of very intense adventures recently. He has found an Elder Scroll, which he just keeps permanently on his person because it is just that delicate. He has uncovered the Ogma Infinium on the behalf of Hermaeus Mora, which he also has in his pocket. And we've had a lot of practical adventures in Martinius' academia life recently, because he is an academic after all. Now he has decided that that's enough practical adventures. We need to do a theoretical adventure and get Martinius' PhD. From, of course, Winterhold College, the only people capable of issuing PhDs in Skyrim. He's going to be Dr. Martinius by the time this episode is over. And he's going to go and speak to Restoration, uh, I guess, PhD Peer Assessment Board. Uh, whatever her name is, Colette Morenz, I think, the Master Restoration Tutor, so that when he gets his medical license, when he gets his full doctorate, his full PhD, he can cast master level spells. And you can see Martinius here doing a little bit of studying. Now, Inigo, during the dungeons, has been making a lot of snide comments recently about how, you know, potions are less effective than using restoration magic and how Inigo keeps saying, Martinius, you are a restoration master. Why do you not keep using your own restoration spells over potions? And Martinius has a theory, which he's going to prove to get his PhD. And that theory is that it makes no fucking difference whether we use potions or whether we use restoration. And by using a legendary Dwemer artifact thought lost to the ages until uncovered by Martinius called Adobe Dwemier Pro, he's going to be able to accurately down frame perfect and spend hours disproving Inigo's many snide comments. And just for reference, Adobe Dwemier, for whatever mad reason, doesn't work in the metric system. It doesn't use uh, deciseconds or centiseconds. It instead works in like sexagesimal. So that is uh, 60, they used to be called thirds, but I don't think they're called that anymore. Uh, 60 thirds per second, which is just not how shit's done anymore. Uh, so you see there as it ticks over, those are, that's one minute, 57 seconds and 60 thirds equals one minute, 57. Uh, it's a shit system, but that's basically what it's measured in. For the purpose of all the maths, I've used that system. So the first thing I did is loop Martinius off the top of the Dragonborn Gallery and then save the game. That allowed us to get a consistent test. So everything you're seeing now does not affect the actual result of the test, but the consistency of the results. By doing it from a set save point, I would be able to test consistently my own reflexes in opening the menu as the game was loading, because there's only a certain window you can do that as the game loads. Therefore, it somewhat mirrors combat, but using an enemy, they're inconsistent. They will do different things and different tactics. Therefore, the damage would not be good to do a full test of. Now, if you look in the middle of each of these tests, you have the hotkeys while the game is paused. During this time, of course, no combat effects can take place. You can neither heal nor take extra damage. My theory is that potions are better because when you take a potion, you are instantly healing independent of how fast you as the player can cast spells and how fast those animations kick in and how fast the healing from that animation then kicks in. The hotkey text I was talking about to show whether or not the game is paused and unpaused is only on screen for a single frame in between closing the menu and returning to gameplay. That is when gameplay effects can carry on. So I lined all of them up to when that text disappears, which again means that this is quite literally frame perfect, then I took a time between when the healing effect started and when the gameplay had continued after the menu had begun to close. Dividing each clip shows when the menu is closing and the first green marker in each clip shows when the healing begins. The final green marker shows when the player reaches full health. And one of the more interesting side effects from this is that it doesn't matter whether we use a single spell cast, a dual spell cast, or two-handed spell cast, one spell in each hand. All the effects were within a third of one another, or 30 center seconds if you prefer standard units. I then took the time from each clip between where healing had concluded and healing had begun to leave us with the total duration it took to go from that standard base health up to maximum health. Then did the identical thing for the potions. I took a potion and then closed the menu and timed it from when those hotkeys disappeared as a consistent baseline level. I then lined all 12 tests and perfectly synchronized them with the menu closing in every single clip. So let's take a look at the results and see if all those snide comments from 
definitely only Inigo, were actually accurate. On the furthest left-hand side, from top to bottom, you have Restoration Magic. The middle column is all Potions. And then the top right, first two, from top to bottom, are Restoration Magic. And then the bottom two, on the far right, are Healing Potions. It's a bit of a mess, because I did intend to do eight tests of each, but then I realized after doing six that it was a complete fucking waste of time. Now, the final results, to see if all those snide comments were... Highly accurate. Don't blink, otherwise you'll miss it. So yes, comment section, you were technically correct. In a perfect environment, under perfect control conditions, with no other variables, it takes approximately one and a quarter seconds to go from that set level of health that we used for every test up to maximum health. Conversely, with the healing potion, it takes two and a half seconds to go from the set level, the baseline of health we use for this experiment, to maximum health. However, that was not my theory. And more importantly, it's irrelevant for the simple reason that A, I wouldn't exactly do an experiment if I thought I was going to be wrong, because let's be honest, this is YouTube. And B, that isn't relevant to combat. In combat, you do not need to go from almost dead to full health for it to be considered a successful healing spell. What you need is is survivability. Such is the entire point of healing. And now for my smoking gun. I took the two fastest times in our test, which in this case was one second and 22 thirds for the healing spell. And the fastest potion time was two seconds and 34 thirds from baseline to full health. I took those two and I compared them overall. So the top screen of these two screens is the healing potion. The bottom screen of these two screens is the restoration magic. And also always worth noting the perfect synchronization between these so it isn't even up for debate and the same level of health for both tests. As you will immediately note, the healing potion, the top screen, accelerates healing far faster because it is not restricted by the animation that is required to play before the healing spell kicks in to the extent that the only time the healing spell takes over the healing potion is past 90% total health. At that stage, the healing magic goes faster than the healing potion. And I would posit in conclusion that 10% health difference between the two makes no fucking difference to combat. As a result, I'm going to be going through all the previous episodes where everybody is complaining at me for drinking a potion rather than using healing magic, and I'm going to be banning you all. Well, no, obviously I'm not. In truth, I don't really care. But the point is, it really doesn't make that much difference which one we go for. And I would argue, still, the potions are better because the potions are more consistent. This is assuming that I am equipping the spell and reacting immediately after equipping the spell. The potion, there is no debate. Not only does the potion allow us to get that consistent level of healing independent of my own reflexes, we could be firing back spells during that time. We don't have to juggle magic either. It's a completely independent process that is equally as good and I would and and as we've proven there, better for the first for the first 90% of the health bar in perfect conditions than restoration magic. And that is why Martinius is getting his PhD. Colette, the potions, Colette. The voices are wrong. Tell them about the potions, Colette. Can I get my doctorate Just now? Just because I don't fit in here is no reason for others to ridicule me behind my back. Uh-huh, I know how you feel, to be honest. Uh, what else is there to be learned about restoration magic? Look at you. Such a devoted student of restoration. <laughs> oh, thank you. It's comforting to see that not everyone has dismissed it as entirely as most members of the college. Mm -hmm. Truly comforting. Oh, thank you. It looks like you're ready to speak with the auger. The auger? What does the auger have to do with anything? Oh, didn't you know? No. The auger was a brilliant mage. Truly inspired. I love that her shirt has restoration magic on it. That's real fucking dedication. He was especially gifted when it came to restoration. He's, well, he's very particular about who shares the knowledge. So you'll need his approval first. Go on, go talk to him. I'm sure he's been paying attention. 
and we'll be expecting you. Wow. Restoration ritual spell. Time. Let's get to it then. And allow us to use master level restoration spell. Master Martinius. Dr. Martinius. Wow. Also, I'm not sure where Inigo ended up. When we travel back to the gallery after Blackridge yesterday, he just didn't come along with us. Uh, he's kind of disappeared, so I'll have to... I have to see if I can summon him from the depths at some point. How is it we get back to the auger? We go down through the midden, which for some reason is full of the bodies of dead girls and other such very peculiar things that for some reason the college don't bother cleaning up, probably because they are uh, ignorant or have an incompetent archmage. I'll take no further questions. <laughs> the groundskeeper was down here, though. He had that little thing down here, though, didn't he? Right, so if we've been to the auger before, we can go through like this way, I think, and it's quicker, right? Uh, yeah, see, here's the groundskeeper's area here. How's the guy playing at? Uh, well, this uh, actually isn't it. Uh, let's start down here, and... Oh. I actually have no idea how to get back to the auger, I won't lie. Uh, fuck it. Let's just follow the compass. It's probably the quickest way. Ah! All well, the places to land. We absorbed the, uh, we absorbed the effect with our robes, though. The Midden Dark. I wouldn't call it mid and dark. I'd call it very dark. <laughs> Never gets old. Is he like down down there? Oh, hello. Someone's boarded it up. Uh, wait, what? Is it is it this way? I really don't remember. Can you tell? And then we go up here, and then it's uh through here. And then, around this corner. I don't remember us taking this long route before. Weird. We go up here, past all the bodies of, I assume, dead students. Ow, we trip on a someone's spine. This place sucks. Why don't they tidy this fucking place up? What a dump. And then, hello, Auger. Ah! Once again, you have come seeking something. Yes, I have. Big restoration powers. Differ. This time, I have what you seek. Oh, good. That's nice. Are you prepared? Well, uh, ready as I ever will be, I assume. Prepared for Palette what? Has already told you. You must be tested before knowledge can be imparted to you. Okay, that's fine. Send me a dragon priest, I'll you kill it. Will rely on your skill as a mage. On your belongings, not on your scrolls and potions. <gasps> not on my potions. The comment section will write all along. Only what lies within. Survive, and you are worthy. This is the test. I don't even know what this is. I, I don't remember. Obviously, I've got all the achievements in this game, but I don't remember this. Uh, sure, I'm ready for your test, pal. Step into the light, and your test begins. Like you? You want me to step into you? Step into the light. Oh, that light, I assume. Oh. Are we in? Apprentice stone removed. I dare comes for you now. What do you want me to do? You want me to you want me to kill it? Okay, I can do that. Uh it seems to be very invincible. Oh, is this the point? Is it a survival test? Alright, oh, I see. Okay, I mean Oh, he's taking my clothes off. Well. I guess now we will be using restoration magic. Uh, what do I use? I used grand healing before because that's the best one we've got. Uh, can I like avoid them? Is that is that allowed? I'm not entirely sure. Ah! Ah! Auger! I didn't sign up to be murdered. Oh, we've done it. That's it. We've done it. Auger. Is that... They won't talk to me again. I assume that's genuinely it. Well, that was easy. For those with a talent. Uh -huh. You better be right. What the hell did I just accidentally buy from her there? Uh, so sort by value. Uh, Bloodseeker. Infinite light. Stream of healing energy that diffracts between targets, healing 448 points per second. But bear in mind, we've got that spell that makes healing damage. You're telling me we've got a stream of energy that bounces between enemies, damaging them for 448 points per second. We've got life's finale. 
Oh my god. Arcade's light. 14 health per second for 60 seconds. Augur of Aetherius. Increased health by 100 points for 60 seconds. A venomous explosion that surges forward. Charge Nova. That has no description to it. We need to go and get some money. And then we'll come back here, Colette. We have to go with infinite light, right? 3,000 gone. Speech increased to 47. That's nice. Augur of Aetherius. Now, we could update Akato's recital. Something I haven't done for a long time. Augur of Aetherius gives us 100 health for 60 seconds. Uh, what else have we got? Charge Nova. I've got to buy. It's got no description. So that means it's got to be good, right? Daybreak. Beam of Sunlight deals 149 damage. Beam spells are superior to the other one, for sure. Volatile Explosion of Raw Magic that absorbs 103 health. What the fuck? Uh, Heart of Debella. Touch the Undead to smite them for 299 sun damage. Someone said that Tolfdeer sells a spell that allows you to turn, if you have it in your offhand, a touch spell into a projectile spell. So we could use that for a combo, which would be insane. Um, and all of these are ones we've seen before, right? Oh my god. An Orb of Thera Sunlight that deals 239 points of damage. Fuck. Oh man, a Radiant Explosion of Sunlight. Well, there are way better ones than what we've got right now. 179. What was that other one that we saw? 299 sun damage? Can we sell her anything? Uh, we've got Long Stride, which we don't want. We've got this that we don't want. Conjure Hearn. Uh, I don't know who Hearn is, but we apparently have that Daybreak. Yeah, we did want that one. Oh, shit. Maybe I could sell her a couple of Soul Gems. I know we'd need some, but let's sell her, like, a couple here just to be able to afford that spell. Because that, like, any Sunblast spell, it's been our bread and butter the entire game. You know i got to take it. So, we've got Reflective Light that does 239. Eclipse does 299. What was the other one we saw? Solar Flare. All right. Well, let's buy Eclipse then. No, no, sorry. Not Eclipse. Let's buy, um... Oh, I hate it. Yeah, let's buy you. That way we've got a Beam Spell and a Projectile Spell. Holy crap. This is going to be ridiculous. We are going to need that Enchanted Gear. Now, somebody said... Uh, firstly, I've got to read all these books. Um, I picked up a bunch of journals and shit. There was in the... Silent Moon's camp with the uh, Lunar Forge. There was a book in there that I picked up but never read. Uh, turns out it was just also sorted into our thing. So today we're going to have to do a load of quests just to get up to level 41. I talked about this very briefly in yesterday's episode, but for those who didn't see it, the way that experience works, and that's the mod, by the way, called experience, is that, you know, uh, leveling up skills don't give experience to your total level, and skills are capped based on your total level. It's 18 plus two times your current skill. Which means, uh, your, your, your current overall level, I should say. Which means to get to level 100 enchanting, we need to be 18 plus 2 times 41 in that case. 41 doubled is 82, plus 18 takes up to 100. So we need to be level 42 overall before we can get that highest level of enchanting. Well, level 35, it's going to be a long time yet. So we've got plenty of, uh, plenty of opportunity then to just do whatever quest we already feel like. So, Bane of the Undead is fine, but not really necessary. Charge Nova. What does this do? I feel like we should go away from the college to test it. Um, let's fuck off to Septimus Cygnus' outpost. If it does just, like, a big explosion, I don't want to accidentally take out the half of the, uh, half of the staff. What does this do? Ah, uh, it does a big explosion. Yeah, I'm really glad I didn't test that in, uh, in Winterhold. So that's just a big explosion of sunlight. Fucking hell. Wow. I wonder what the range to that is. If we're in a room of Fulma, that would just... I uh, Draugr, they would just get incinerated. Vampires? Incinerated. Holy crap. Martinius ascends. That's awesome. Let's get that on the bar. We'll take everything else off the bar for the timing, because obviously a lot of it is irrelevant now. Uh, so by level. So we got infinite light, stream of healing energy. If that works the way I'm hoping it works, holy shit. It's a two-handed spell. Oh, this is similar to the Nova. Oh, look at that. It takes a long time to cast. We can't move while we're casting it. Martinius, you have ascended, my friend. Look at how long we can cast it for. We can't move. So that's the trade-off. We can't dodge. We've just got to tank whatever damage comes our way. And it takes a long time to cast it in the first place. That's incredible. We've got a Kamehameha. Okay, what else have we got here? Reflective light is obviously just going to be a big, a big sunblast, correct? Boom. 
Jesus Christ, that's gigantic. Oh my God. Inigo. Where did you come from? Mm -hmm. Good Lord. Let us go. Can I test this on you? Pow. <laughs> wow, that really is cruel son, isn't it? That's awesome. I like that. Sorry. I think I need it. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I'll I'll heal him up, don't worry. There you go. Sorry about that. You you spooked me. Right, what else have we got then? That spell is incredible. Covalescence. Oh, it's a better healing spell. I just went for mending like an idiot. Uh what else have we got then? Grand healing, radiant grasp. Did we not buy something else? Had it been dead? Infin oh, was there not a uh a beam spell that we bought? Ethereal sunlight, charge over, covalescence. Hmm. Oh, could we not? We couldn't afford it, right? As radiant sunbeam, which I think we've used many times before. I guess our current go-to spell then will be reflective light. It drains a lot of magicka, but my god, that is a hell of a blast to be sending over. Look at the range on it. In you go. Fear Martinius, for he has ascended. To new power levels. Look through our quest log here. We've got so much shit that we need to tidy up. So the first thing I want to do is is finish the golden core quest. Let's just go back through all of our quests and tidy them up before taking any new ones. I think that's something that's a long overdue at this point. Just get these quests gone. The note we got from Arvrel all those years ago in Bleak Falls Barrow, whatever the first well, dungeon is called, said that they got it from here. I said no. No adventures, no theatrics, no thief chasing. No thief well, chasing. What are you going to do then, we need that huh? jog up there Let's for the gallery. Oh, Hello. Did something happen? Uh, yeah, we, we did have a bit of a, a break. Ah. Uh -huh. we, we still have plenty to sell. Robbers were only after one thing. What were they after? An ornament. Solid gold in the shape of a dragon's claw. Oh, well, conveniently. You mean this one? <laughs> you found it. <laughs> there it is! Strange. It, it seems smaller than I remember. <laughs> Funny thing, huh? I'm going to put this back where it belongs. I'll, I'll never forget this. You've done a great thing for me and my sister. You're welcome, my friend. Seems smaller than I remember. Is that to imply that they, like, shaved it down Thank or something? Thank you so much for taking care is of Is it for sale? A little coin always greases the wheels. Uh, he wants to sell it for 1,250 gold. Well, that way we can put it in the gallery rather than a replica. Um, I'll take it. Thank you. Here, this is for you. Investigate the cryptic message. This is Forbidden Legends. Now, somebody in the uh, comment section yesterday asked why I hadn't finished this yet. So, cryptic message on the body of a powerful dragon condemning him for his ancient crimes. This is the Galdor amulet quest. Martinius finds himself south of Solitude. Where, after going through basically all of our belongings to find a bloody random note that we looted in the first quest of the Mage's Guild a very long time ago, I have been directed towards this. Dravus Valen's Journal. There we are. How long has it been since I first heard the Galda legend? 80 years, 400? I can think of nothing else now. My goal is at hand. I have finally traced the Ivory Claw to a collector in Brazil. His death was, ne was necessary, but I have it. At last, I have it. Three days of non-stop riding, I reached Anvil ahead of my pursuers and took passage in on the ice runner, bound for solitude once more. The other passengers are coming suspicious. Returning from dinner, I caught one brute rooting around in my quarters, almost found the claw. Had the captain not intervened, I would have flayed him alive. Hope to spend the voyage sequestered in my room, reviewing the notes and preparing spells. But I need to deflect some attention from myself. I have to mingle, pretend to be just another petty mage for now. The brute claims to be an adventurer after seeking fortune in the ruins of Skyrim with his companions. Perhaps I can turn this to my advantage. Use them as fodder for the traps in the dragon within the tombs. I see greed in his eyes. Yes, that should work. Three weeks to solitude, the captain says, and I'll suffer these fools longer than that. I'll swim. With Brun and his companions in tow, I lead our band across the marsh to Folgunther, where we make camp for the night. Little has changed since my first expedition ten years ago, but this time I have the claw and I will have the amulet. I spend all night preparing a synopsis of my notes in case some fragment or tale or piece of ancient ore may be needed to bypass the wards within the tomb. Then I cast all my books and scroll into the fire and reduce my life's work to ashes. At long last, today is the day of reckoning. If I cannot have the amulet, no one will. Wow. And he's, he's still in here. Oh, wow. Folgunther. So, of course, we already have the one fragment. What the hell is even that? Uh, I mean, obviously, it's a soul gem. We already have one fragment of the amulet, so let's head in. Inigo was behind me a second ago. Hopefully, he hasn't got lost again. He's got a habit of doing that recently. Here we are. Inigo. This seems perfect for Martinius. What, a, what an incredible quest. What an appropriate quest. Uncovering lost legends. That's like the perfect thing for him. More importantly, we get to incinerate more Draugr. So he's used the claw look to open the door here. I can still hear Draugr. So evidently they didn't get very far. Um, I'll take your amber too, if that's okay. I'll take your soul gems. 
Pickaxe there for an ego if he needs it. Did, did I remember to bring our pickaxe? No. So you know what? Pickaxe for Martinius. <laughs> it's really nice to see the... Uh, oh, look. There's a claw to get through there. It's really nice to see... Oh. Someone else also... Getting annihilated by Draugr when they try and do archaeology. Jesus Christ. That Draugr didn't know what hit him. Oh my god, this spell is insane. Hello, Draugr. Kaboom. <laughs> oh. Hello there. No, thank you. Hello. Full sword eye, you say? Hello. Hello. As long as I don't miss. Oh, this is incredible. We have, we have well and truly ascended. Embrace the madness. The dwarven mace there. Okay. Oh, a dig site. Some archaeologist that guy ended up being, eh? Right, let's have a dig. See what we can uncover. We do have a couple of perks from uh, from our archaeology perks, don't forget, to increase the amount of fragments. Maybe even get an extra keystone. That's unfortunate, but that's okay. We do have the... Oh, cool. We do have the... Uh... For God's sake. We do have that tool to allow us to... Uh... Oh, nice. To allow us to convert fragments to keystones as a kind of gamble. There's a chance that it can fail. Steel armor with pauldrons. I assume we don't need that for the gallery, given that it's kind of a variant of regular steel armor. Okay. Let's go and have a look around then, eh? Thought you might do that, you big shit. Martinius is wise to these traps, for he has explored many a tomb over his life. Or is that the body of the guy? Bloody hell, they really didn't get very far, did they? Underestimated the Draugr. Drainas Valen. Ivory Dragon Claw. Drainas Valen's Volume 2. Uh, where is it? There we are. How to summarize a lifetime of research. So look what I've learned matters now. The petty politics of ancient times, the age-long campaign to wipe out all of the Galda name. I now... I know not what awaits us within Fold Gunther. So here then is the truth of the tale, the best I've been able to piece it together. In the opening days of the First Era, the Archmage Galda was revered through the north. Wisdom, wealth, honor, and power were his, and even Ysgrimor's heirs sought his counsel. Smothered by a shadow, Galda's three sons grew cruel and resentful. They lusted after their father's power and prestige, and eventually Yerik, the eldest, discovered its source, a mysterious amulet from which he never parted. Together they conspired to murder their father in his sleep and divide his amulet between them, and so it was done. Consumed by the newfound power, the brothers laid waste to the surrounding villages. So great was the carnage that the High King himself intervened, sending a company of battle mages led by the Archmage Gearmund to subdue the brothers. And after a devastating battle, the three fled the field. Mikral, the youngest, was run to ground in Folgunther. The ancient barrow at the foot of Solitude, and though he fought for three days and three nights, he was overcome and entombed there, his crypt sealed by an ivory claw. Gearman, pursued by Yurik, to the shattered crypts of Sarthal. Half buried even then in the frozen depths of Winterfold. Ten veteran wizards fell before Yurik's elemental magic, but he could not overcome them altogether. He too fell and was sealed within the ruined city. At last, Sigdis was cornered in the southernmost riches of Skyrim. He cha cha challenged your Lord Gearman to a duel, knowing his foe was unabound to accept. They clashed in battle, match strength with strength, and he fell together on the field before Iverstead. The High King ordered a tomb built for Gearman on the lake, which bears his name, and had Sigdis sealed with him, forever guarded by the one who slay him. Galda himself was interred in a cave not far from where his tower once stood in a place called Reachwater Rock, and near where Carth River splits and joins again. When it was done, King Howard issued an edict. The name and deeds of Galda and his sons were for it to be expunged from every record, every chronicle. Under pain of death, no word of them was to be spoken unless they tried to recover the amulet uh, that had been sealed at great cost. Four thousand years have passed and tombs remain sealed. The fragments of the Galda amulet lie within. Since the day I first heard the rumor, I felt its power calling to me, pulling at me. I'll be the one to reclaim it, restore it, and bear it into the world once more. I must have it. I must. Wow. Okay, then. Shall we? Press on. And complete the Galda legends ourselves, Sir, please don't interrupt my spell casting. 97 restoration, by the way. Holy shit. So, there are some caveats to the experience system I was talking about earlier. So, though we might need to be 41 to get that high level of enchanting, certain racial bonuses do not affect that. So... Because we have an inherent bonus to restoration, we can level that up beyond what we normally would be able to. We just got to pull these in a random order. That opens the, that gate. That closes the gate. Okay. 
There we go. I'm a genius. Don't clap too loudly. <laughs> wow. These tombs are absolutely no threat to us anymore at all, are they? I know I said that before and then we've got our arse handed to us, but we've because we've leveled pretty much exclusively restoration, and because we haven't played much of the game as we've done it... Oh, 87 alteration too. We can also do... Almost do master alteration as well. Some sooner than others. Inigo, are you a faceless man? You have to tell me if you are. Uh, hello there. Kapow, kaboom. Fantastic. Now, because we uh, have some inherent bonuses towards restoration, we can level that up beyond what we normally should be able to. That's how I understand it. It does say that on the uh, Nexus page. Uh, we might actually need that. Some fire salts too. I love the Draugr variation in this mod. Mod pack. Ah! Oh no. Should I use restoration magic or should I drink a potion? In this case, we are going to use restoration magic because I don't have a good enough potion apparently. <laughs> so what have we got then? Covalescent seals the target. We didn't buy any that healed us, did we? Uh, grand healing. Let's put that on our favorites then. Not today, poison. How long does that last? Bloody ages. Okay, well, let's let that fade away. Um, I was kind of hoping we could go down there, but evidently that's not the right way. That just kills us horribly. And this one, I guess, turns it that way as well. Okay. There's some ruined books there. I did take some more ruined books to Latoria as well, actually. Um, and she gave me a bunch of treasure maps, which I put immediately on display. But at some stage, we'll be able to go out and uh, do some things with that, I'm sure. So how do we know what the... Oh, I guess one side has the solution and the other side has the uh, things that we need to turn, right? So let's put... I mean, realistically here, we're probably only going to use uh, reflective light. So let's do that then. So to do that, number one, to heal up, option two. Perfect. Hello? Not today. Jesus. Against some of these Draugr, like regular plain old Draugr, it's an insta-kill. I love it. We're so good. And this is before all of our crazy enchantments and everything, too. So it is. Uh, so which way are we facing now? North. So North, Eagle. Uh, east, Whale. South, Snake. North, Whale. No. North, Eagle. East, Whale. South, Snake. So from South to North, we'll do that because that's the way we're going in. It's Snake, Whale, Eagle. Hey. Snake, whale, eagle. I was trying to remember it by thinking, oh, it's, uh, you know, east for eagle, but actually it's it's not. Uh, and that would not really help things very much. Snake, whale, bollocks. Not bollocks, eagle. Bollocks would be a very strange thing to put on a <laughs> Nordic puzzle trap. Is that everything? And now we pull out eyes, you may not let us through. Yeah, there we go. I'm here for your amulet. Why didn't they take the amulet and just, like, seal it away? Give it to the Psijic Order or something. Kaboom! Oh, it's so good. It's so good. We're that powerful, the game's actually giving us kill cams rather than just exclusively Inigo. Ah, oh, what a great feeling. Ah! Oh, filthy little creature. Okay, I mean, we don't need kill cams that frequently, if that's all right. All right, I'll take all your ruined books still. Turns out Latoria gets a lot out of a single ruined book, so I don't feel so bad having spent so long picking up so many. I hate the fact that loot and Toggle your lamp are on the same hotkey, but there's all of like a second in it. Please drag my body outside. No problem. I don't want to end up here. You won't die here. You were the restoration master. Unfortunately, I don't have any potions though, so we're shit out of luck. We don't need kill cams for every single kill. 98 restoration. Because we're casting master spells. Yeah, that'll be it. Oh, bloody hell. Okay, let's not dual wield on all of them. Very unnecessary. Sorry, I should say dual cast on all of them. I can't see anything. But he poisoned us and our magic isn't regenerating. What a dick. What a dick. No. Don't force Rodar. We did absorb his tomb, though, which is kind of cool. There we go. I mean, like Mara, might as well take that. Do we need the ancient Nordic stuff? Uh, apparently not. That seems bizarre that you wouldn't put that in the gallery, right? Weird. Really, we should be loading everything so we can smelt it back down at the furnace, but that's okay. Right, so. Wolf, wolf, wolf. Uh, what is it actually? Let's have a look. Ivory claw is... Oh, I love that it's actually kind of got an ivory texture to it. It's not quite as, like, bumpy as the golden claw. Weird. Don't think ivory is quite that shiny. Eagle, eagle, dragon. Eagle, eagle, dragon. 
Eagle, eagle, eagle. No, no, no. Eagle, eagle, dragon. There we are. <laughs> In he goes, please. Personal space. You're so bloody close. Okay. Well, that was not bad. Whenever you're ready. Ugh. When we get the master alteration as well, then we can really embrace... Oh, I need that for my Dwemer display in the basement. That's quite nice. Um, what we'll need is uh, to update Okata's recital when we do the master alteration, because then we'll have master alteration and master um, restoration. Master conjuration would also work well with um, with Okata's recital too. Then we'll have to respell to and everything. Galda? I, I'm in awe. You like it here? One minute he's like, drag me outside if I die, I don't want to die here. Next he's like, I'm in awe. In awe at the size of that lad. Absolute unit. Oh dear, he died. What a shocker. Kaboom. What's in here? Glowy oh, that must be like a fire Draugr that I'm sure will wake up in a second when we kill all the other Draugr. I love the fact that it's just a flash of light and then dust. Fantastic. Okay, then. Mikrul's amulet fragment, the writ of sealing, soul of Mikrul Galdason, and Mikrul Galdason's shield, which unsurprisingly also does not go in the gallery. Genuinely kind of shocked about that. And we've also got a Galda Blackblade. Oh, shit. Weird. Well, there we are. I, I guess there are Draugr in there. They're just... Oh, there actually are Draugr in there. Is there one in all these sealed tombs? Yes. They just didn't wake up. Maybe it's because we completed combat so fast. To harm me, please. Sorry. He was very angry about that. <laughs> right. Well, I mean, I'll blow these up because it's free restoration experience, eh? There's no reason not to. Kaboom. Or not. Kaboom. There we go. I love the fact that the top of the coffin pops off too. That's quite nice. Nice. Okay, then. Well, that's one down. Is there like a treasure chest in here or something? Oh, Patima gold piece. Nice. I think we've already got one of those though, so not such a big deal. Uh, Let me out. Take your time. That's okay. And there we go. Oh, there's a word wall. Crap. That's great. Grab some of this shit too. Like, these room books genuinely are very, very good for filling up the gallery fast with all the books that we, uh, you know, don't necessarily want to head down and uh, track down manually. Dwarven shield. What have we got in here, then? Money, hopefully. Card of demons. Dwemer armor will sell. Iron shield of tremors. Sure, it's worth a little bit. Some gold there. Might as well take everything. We can always dump it in the chest, right? And a word wall. Foe. Wow. Frost breath is okay. We could do with all the kind of breath spells. Give us an alternate means of dealing damage. But it's not really necessary when we're already so overpowered. Donk. Here we are. What's the way out of here then? Uh. What is the way out of here? Oh, just like around the corner. Fair enough. Thought I was worth a gamble. So, off we go then to. The next tomb. They said this was where? North of Iverstead or by Iverstead? Uh, they said south of Skyrim, but well, I can't see it. Oh, Iverstead. Me looking at bloody Rorikstead. Yeah, there it is. Gearman's Hall. Gearman's Hall. Let's gonna have a look then. Get him in, you go. Oh, I can hear Draugr again. This one's apparently very close. What a waste of mana. <laughs> what a complete waste. Uh, do we jump down there? I mean, we we can? Oh, Jesus. Is that water? Looks like it's water. Didn't want to risk it, though, you know. Coin purse. Thank you. Uh, in he go. Hacker. No clipping through everything. It's down here. Septims. I put the ring of water breathing away. Somebody said, and I actually didn't catch this at the time. You know that ring of in... Uh, 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 that engraved ring of healing that we found? That's Fargoth's ring from, from Morrowind. Completely didn't pick up on it at the time. Hello. Not today. Uh, 
uh, unlock door. Oh, we can unlock door. I didn't know if that would be like the, the shortcut back out when we complete the dungeon or something. Okay. Hello. Some more room books for me. That's always lovely. Big old potion. There is no need to push. Then you go, whenever you say that, I don't actually mean to push. I hope you realize. Excuse me, I need your, need your ruined books. <laughs> Somebody said in response to my comment about Fallout 4 just being kind of a slog by comparison because it kind of feels like you have to. Somebody said they just used a mod to give them all the crafting ingredients they needed. And to be honest, if we ever do play the Fallout games on this channel, I think I'll probably do that because I sure as fuck do not want to be going through every single flat surface looking for fucking... It was tape, wasn't it? It was always bloody tape and aluminium. It's driving me mad. Maybe by... Maybe we can just make the crafting skills harder to train, but... But... Require far less fanning around, looting everything not nailed down. Oh! Ghost of a mammoth. Trapped a lot of souls. This is where I grabbed all those soul gems before. Right. What have we got here? There was a bloody grand soul on there, and it's fucked off. Where did that go? There you are. Unbelievable. Right, so what order is it to do these in then? Uh, is that like a... They're on the same level. Eagle, whale, whale, snake. Uh, how do they correlate? I'm not entirely sure they do. Well, this is the final one. There's one. There's one. And there's one. Uh, what do you think? Should we try... That one, that one, that one, that one. Is it like a, um, that one, that one? We assume it's a square then. I guess we'll try eagle here to start off with. Oh, nailed it. First time. Yeah. Uh, so it was eagle, whale, snake, whale. Weird. All right, then. Galdason, I have got some very fancy jewelry. And I'm a very hungry boy. Careful there. Sir. When I hit you with my magic, you die. What is that? Oh, Garamond's Epitaph. Lord Garamond, Archmage of Windhelm. Lord Battle Mage of King Harold. May just keep thy vigil eternal. Serve now in the death of his you didn't lie for the seals are around persevere from... So this is him. Fuck me. The key was on there and now it's just been Fusrodard away. You absolute motherfucker. <sighs> okay, I looked it up. Apparently, all it does is unlock this door that you can lockpick anyway. Because I can't find it. <laughs> oh, hello. Yeah, I couldn't find the bloody thing anywhere. So, fuck it. That is my biggest fear with something we need for the museum. If something like that happens and it disappears forever. Right. Okay. Elven Battle Axe. You actually need that for the gallery. Nice. Okay. And there are a lot of heavy breathing boys. Is that where our artifact is? Through there, apparently. Okay. I don't think we needed to go this way, but um, we might. Okay. Uh, it did say when I was looking it up that it just unlocks the door to an arcane enchanter. It's not necessary. It might be an alternate way to go, but this is fine. All right, come on, in you go. Well, it certainly looks like the way to go to me. Oh, well. Luckily, we've got... Stop that! Unbelievable. <laughs> I love that he still sounds zombie after all this time. That doesn't seem very friendly. Or does that not drop the... Brilliant. We drop this down then. Is it out here somewhere? I have no idea. How do we actually drop this down then? Try it again. Hmm. You know what? I have no idea. We could possibly just... Unrelenting... Not unrelenting force. Whirlwind sprint over there. Huh. Right, let's do it. Foos! Bollocks. I even said not unrelenting force. What a fool. Well, that did it. <laughs> Sorry, Inigo. This is a one-man journey now. Brilliant. Okay, then. Uh, This way? Oh, that's a dead end. It's certainly not that way. Yeah, I have no idea how you're actually supposed to... How you're actually supposed to do that, to be honest with you. Oh, God. Okay. Well, we're fine. Everything's okay. That's for any go if he ever manages to climb across. And more room books for Latoria. 
Again, way more valuable than I anticipated, so actually not bad. Maybe you are supposed to use unrelenting sprint. Oh, unrelenting, not un whirlwind sprint. I'll, I'll, I'll get it eventually. Weird. Just seems odd that there'd be all these kind of <laughs> areas that are sprintable over to. How bizarre. Um, okay. What the hell are these then? What the hell is up here? Oh, that's what we saw earlier, right? This is his tomb. Galveston. Which one are you? Dead one, I assume. Played Gearman's Hall. Killed the man before he even got out of his fucking coffin. <laughs> you have a concern that we've become too strong. Mighty, mighty powerful. Dick's like exhausted. Okay. Sigdis is amulet fragment. Reforged the Gamulet, a reach water rock near where the Karth River splits and joins again. Galda Blackbow. Wow. So we've got the staff, we've got the sword, we've got the bow. Very good that each son used a different combat style. That's very nice. Got to cover the whole combat triangle there. And now we've got... Oh, words and philosophy. Two-handed increased. Well, that's great. Got a bunch of treasure. Oh, careful there. Uh, what are those? Oh, pearls? Those don't look anything like pearls. Oh, no, I can kind of see it. A little bit blue. So you can't get pearls that are that blue. I'm going to take all of this shit. Uh, let's go and... What do we put deep storage on three? I use it quite kind of frequently. Right, where are we heading to now? Over where the River Karth splits. Let's go to Reach Cliff Cave. Uh, apparently it's right here. Whee! Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> Time of his life. Tragically, he traded his ankles for it. Oh, here we are. Oh, this is lovely. I assume old man Galderson won't get up because he was apparently a nice guy. All right, another dragon claw. Ancient Egypt, edict. Let this place be for forgotten forever. Let it be struck from the rolls of history. Let it never be spoken of by man or Merle. Let its name be lost to the ages. You here enter here. No, this place was sealed at a great price. Honor those who have perished here. Turn back and leave them to their rest. No. Got lost legends too. Someone else tried to get an in by the looks of it. Interesting. Right, so Emerald Claw. Can't believe one quest has two claws to it. Oh, the, yeah, look, that one actually looks like Emerald. That's cool. I like they've done that. Bear, whale, monk? I think that's supposed to be snake. Bear, whale, snake. Bear, whale, snake. And go. Man, that does look great. Lots for our display now. Quests like this are perfect. We've, we've got like what, like a dozen things for our gallery at this point? Here we go. I assume we want to fight Old Man Galderson. Well, I guess Old Man Galder. Just because he is the nice guy, right? It was his sons that betrayed him. What's this one require? This is the ivory one. Okay. So, ivory claw is... Uh, eagle, eagle, dragon. Thought that might happen. <laughs> eagle, eagle, dragon. Oh, wait, what? Eagle, eagle, dragon? There we are. Genuinely thought we've rotated it four times then. Keeping up, Inigo. How's it going? God, he looks so cool. Still want to give him a different armor set soon. Pearl and a white strike. Fantastic. What a guy. Okay. In we go. Keep an eye out for the occasional treasure that may or may not appear. I imagine that's our way out. Big old plentiful healing potion. Whoa. Look at this. Well, I just did the boss fight and unfortunately it bugged out and didn't work properly. So we were just kind of stuck in here. Um, I'm going to take it very, very slowly this time. I did try the, you know, the beam spell that is two-handed and, and jumps between targets. And I think that may have bugged things out a little bit. Um... Because it also hit Inigo and started healing him while dealing damage to the enemies. And I think it fucked things slightly. So I'm going to take this very, very slowly this time. Yurik and Sigdis and the other guy whose name I now can't remember. Right, okay. Let's be careful. Take this slowly and sensibly. No! Brilliant. Maybe now's not the time to be throwing shit, Inigo. Okay, let's be careful. This is still a boss fight, after all. 
But we did kill them way too fast last time. I think it was so fast that the game couldn't quite register. Right. So that is one of them down, reduced to ashes. Here comes the next one. Now this guy... For some reason we fell over. Uh, I'm not entirely sure why we fell over. <laughs> uh, this guy will summon multiple different versions of himself. And I assume we've just got to try and figure out which one the right one is. I'm not entirely sure. Kaboom. See, this is shade. There you go. So this guy will teleport about and we have to try and figure out which is the right one. Well, it's not that one. Ah! Just got to be a bit more... Oh, Jesus. Magic and conservative. There we go. Hit him again. Let's try you. Wasn't that one. Oh, what I'm with. Oh, come on. No, it wasn't that one either. Bollocks. No, good shot. In you go. Don't die, my friend. And now we're dead. No. Why? What happened there? God, this is frustrating. I, I'm, I'm like specifically not just spamming spells because last time I did that fucking broke and now we're getting insta-killed. Unbelievable. <laughs> Maybe we could use charge Nova against that guy. That'd be pretty good, eh? Right, come on. What was our beam spell? Maybe I should just stick to using the fucking beam spell. Um, oh, we didn't actually buy the beam spell in the end, did we? All right, never mind. Um, I might go for... Let's just use Radiant Sunbeam. It'll help us against the guy who spawns multiple copies. Be a bit more accurate. Also means we won't insta-kill them and potentially bug the game out. And against the other Drow, it works pretty goddamn well as well. I'm going to go for this. Ah! We did absorb it. Is that him dead? Uh, yep. See, look, he didn't turn to ash this time. I think that's the problem. Last time I hit him too hard and it ruined everything. I will not end up like you. That's hilarious. <laughs> that's actually what happened. That's fucking hilarious. We killed him so fast we broke the campaign. Still not it. Come on. There he is. Is that it? Nope. Oh, look. Now you can see there are different amounts of them. Like, more and more spawning in each time. There you go. It's actually working now. Oh, my God. We were, we were too powerful. We were we were turning into ash, and then it was breaking the bloody cutscene. Right, and now for Yurik, who we've already killed once before, so shouldn't be that difficult. Die. Okay, ready? One more. And there we go. Is finished. That should be it then, right? Whoa! Ah! Oh, there he is! He's done it! That's Galva! Oh, nice! Increases your health, magic, and stamina by 50 points. Each regenerates 25% faster. Knowledge of Galdor unlocks the ability to resurrect with full health once every 15 minutes. There it is. Okay, cool. It actually worked this time. There we go. Oh, that was pretty cool. Shame it didn't work the first time around, but there we go. So in conclusion, we know for the future that if we reduce enemies to ash, it might break cutscenes. <laughs> I suppose because he was supposed to banish them to uh, wherever. Send them what away. Was what was that noise? In you go. You're being weird. Jesus, what a mess. But we've done it. The Galdor Amulet is ours. Let's take a look at it then. Uh, Galdor Amulet. Galdor Amulet. Galdor Amulet. There it is. The Galdor Amulet. Whoa. Nice. That's cool. I mean, 25% faster Magicka Regen is obviously pretty fantastic. Much better than what we had before. Well, there we go. Galda Amulet and the Forbidden Legend is complete. As for the treasure, <laughs> Iron Sword, no thank you. Uh, we got all this crap. Circuit of Alteration, Elven Shield, some of it's valuable. Wow. I thought that was a shortcut back out, but obviously that was just our treasure room. There we go. The Forbidden Legend complete. And we got a boatload of stuff for the gallery there. So very happy about that. No level up today, so Enchanting is still going to have to wait. But what do we get it to? Like 96 Restoration? If there's anything underwater. You know what? I'm not sure I want to know. <laughs> That's a 
That's a big ass deep pond. And here we are. That was cool. I like that. I don't, I don't actually remember ever doing that quest before, you know. I don't think I ever have, bizarrely enough. Uh, let's take the Dwemer compass and go back to... Uh, Let's go back to our safe house, which I think is location two. And I'll do my usual sorting through the inventory. But anyway, thank you all for watching. So tomorrow we'll try and clear another one of our many, many quests that we've got. To be honest, oh, the majority of them are Orion's notes, which are only, uh, they're only kind of um, items to find as you do other things. The Man Who Cried Wolf, investigating Wolf Skull Cave is quite an easy one. Um, Inigo is obviously not relevant. We won't bother with the Forgotten City or... Um, either of the clockwork ones. Soul's time is obviously a long ass one. Um, speak with this run. Shamadra schematics after the excavation. We could do that one fairly easily. But a northern field station, like a lot of these are just general kind of, uh, safe house ones too. So we haven't got any kind of main quest ones, with the exception obviously finding out who took the horn. Um, we haven't got any main quest things to worry about. Oh my god, I've left you in here for so long. Are you okay? I've been waiting for you. I know. Uh, now's not the time. I'll just be here then. <laughs> oh no. I feel really bad for her. <laughs> so I'll sort everything out. We might even do the Alteration Master Quest tomorrow as well if I can track down Tolf Deer. And then we can really up our game even further with Ocato's recital. Thank you for watching. And tomorrow, does he look younger? Well, Tinny's got more youthful. What the hell happened there? <laughs>